All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and okay, there was no button prompt for the door, but I guess it was fine. Yeah, welcome back to Treasure Adventure World. Uh, let's see. You found another one of the legendary treasures. At this rate, we'll have all 12 in no time. Yeah, we're pretty great. What should we do now? You should bring the legendary treasure down into the temple right away. Each one lets us go further and deeper into the temple and brings us one step closer to saving your father. I should get the feeling Bagus is going to, like, betray us or something. Okay, I was really hoping it would be something new. Like, you know. Leading me to the, uh... You know, another treasure pearl or whatever. Anywho, let's go back down into this hell pit. Up, oh, and there we go. Anyway, I got my Xbox controller working again, which is exciting. The Steam controller is not bad, but it's like a little bit fiddly because no games are really made for it. And it doesn't quite perform... It doesn't quite perform the way you think it would. I've also noticed my sticks are less sticky. I guess we probably want to go this way. Whoops. Dang it. I do wish the there was like a slight dead zone on movement. Uh, the lack of the dead zone actually throws me off pretty hard. Okay, I'm gonna have to go through this entire dungeon multiple times, aren't I? I mean, it's not so bad. I have gotten substantially better at it. Mostly. Mostly substantially better. I just kind of wish you could shortcut past the first section. I'm not gonna get the money, but that's fine. We don't need the money. And we get... We get gold. That's what we get? Uh, I was... I don't know. I was hoping for something a little bit more exciting. But then, maybe again, we do get to use the temporal ring anyway. Just getting money feels kind of... Disappointing. I don't know. I'm a huge fan of, like, Mega Man, for example. So what's this do? Travel safely through other dimensions. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna help me at all. Okay, he doesn't have any leg legendary treasures that he knows about. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm trying to think of a... a way to put this into words. I'm a huge fan of, like, the Mega Man games. Mega Man X or whatever. You know, after you beat... After you beat a boss, you get its power, and it gives you an upgrade that you can, you know, you can use to solve some puzzles, beat the next boss easier, stuff like that. And, um... I, I totally get why there's, like, cool upgrades and stuff like that in this game. But it is also one of those where, um... You know, I can't help but feel mildly disappointed, uh, whenever we get a uh, treasure like that, and it's just like, oh, but we already have it. Uh... No, we already have it, but like, uh... Yeah, I don't really know. Uh, let's just go take a shortcut. I'm gonna try the jungle island, maybe. We'll go from there. Um, but you know, you beat the- you beat the boss, you get the legendary treasure, and you can't even use it. And I feel like that- that's maybe a bit of a misstep, because I want to use the temporal ring for something cool. Not put it in a museum where it belongs. I'm a greedy person. Why can't I be greedy? Dang it! <laughs> you mean I could have come here a long time ago? Ah, uh, whatever. I deserve this. So when that radar is freaking out, that means there's a dig spot. I actually might not have had that ability to, like, dig there. Originally, anyway. Okay, I don't know how to hit that switch. Don't come any closer, human. 
We don't allow your kind in our village. Humans are a scourge on this planet. Your parrot friend, on the other hand, is welcome to stay. The kid and I are a duo. I'm not going anywhere without Pete. Then you could both leave. Why don't you go chop down some trees or something? Oh, and don't think you can fool me with some mask like those humans from Pofeglia used to wear. I won't fall for that again. Simon says go away, funny. Fun fact, Peep is, uh, Peep has no official gender. I was talking about Peep as though Peep was a girl, uh, mainly because of the, uh, longer hair and kind of, uh, thinner build. But, uh, the developers originally designed Peep to be a boy, but they noticed a lot of people were using female pronouns for Peep. Um... And they realized kind of along the way that it didn't matter what gender they went with, so they went with a uh, purposefully androgynous, uh, you know, appearance. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to kill these frogs. Screw you guys, I'm going out, getting out of here. Okay. Still don't know how to get that, but it looks like we need a power-up for that. So, we need a mask from Paveglia. Unfortunately, I'm not even sure how I'm supposed to get to Paveglia, to some degree. Because the bridge was up. They didn't lower it. Unless I can, like, just warp there. I'm not entirely sure. I'm just gonna... Yeah, so whatever that is, we need a jump boost for. Let's see. Oh, right, this is my house. Still kind of a sty. Kind of wish you could, like, clean it up or something. Well... Let's see, so we could try and go to Paveglia. I could try and go back to the tree. Let's check the map while we're here. Yeah, we've got a whole bunch of things here. Prizes. Prizes, specimens, prizes, club. There's a legendary treasure over there on the Mushroom Island. You know the Mushroom Island might not be a bad thing to attempt, and we still can't figure out how to lower the bridge to Paveglia. He's like, come to my castle. And it's like, okay. Well, why don't we quick try and get that bridge down again? And then we'll go for this island. Or... Can I just teleport to Paveglia and get the bridge down on the other side? Because, yeah, I think this bridge is still down. I'm not sure how to lower it. Because there's no wind power or anything. But I don't think I've ever actually been over here. Like, I think it was too steep. Maybe? No. I have been here. So, I touched upon it. Yeah, how do you get the bridge for Paveglia down? Because it looks like it can kind of climb around, like, that area. And it looks like I'm supposed to change it from here. At least the bridge is on this side. Try hitting the bridge down, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, nothing. You'd think once we, we solved the, uh... You'd think once we solved the 
issues. Well, I'm gonna just go straight down. Oh, ghost. Mitch is reopening the general store. Back in the day, you could find anything you wanted there. His inventory is a little limited now, but he has, I bet he has something you like. Okay, that's useful. We can see ghosts now. In honor of you saving my soul, I'd like to offer you a special one-time only deal for this once popular item. In the old world, humans would wear this mask so they wanted, uh, when they wanted to go unnoticed by uh, less, unfriendly, uh, less friendly animals. Not everyone was as tolerant as the citizens of Paveglia City, you know. So what do you say? Interested? Yes. You bought an animal mask. Disguise yourself as an animal. If I had more time, I'd probably reskin the mask to not be a koala. I'm not a fan of koalas. So do we have any other people around here? The city of Paveglia was once a haven for the peaceful humans and animals of the world. We accepted those who practiced magic as well as those who studied science. Animals and humans now segregate themselves and are afraid of each other. It really is a shame. But I see you two are quite close. Close. It makes me happy to see that. Hey, Peep and I aren't that close. We just happen to have common goals, that's all. Sure, if you say so. <laughs> see this old lighthouse? My dad told me when it's lit during the night, the beacon shines into the horizon. If you could sail to that point and dive to the ocean floor, you'd find sunken treasure. I always wanted to see if it was true. You're a ghost, you could go check, you know. So it looks like, uh, we actually do have a reason to come back here. Did you know the great hero Hoyan was from this city? He came here as a youth and studied magic even though his family was against it. When the demon came to destroy the world, he set out on a quest to stop it. He's a true hero and I'm proud to have known him. Alive, Midge and I ran a very successful general store. Those were the good old days. It took me a long time to accept that my old life is gone. Midge, on the other hand, won't give up his dream of running the S-Mart. Oh, what is he thinking? We haven't had a customer in over a hundred years. Okay, so I think that's probably it. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to go back through the cave to get up. I kind of wish there was a ladder or something. Then you could uh, speed past some of the stuff. So anyway, we have Ghost Kingdom. But we still don't have a means of dealing with this. Okay, but we do have the animal mask, so I'm gonna head. I'm gonna head back to the the rhino area. I thought the king would give me the animal mask or something like that, but I was way wrong. Actually, let's do a detour here. We know there's a legendary treasure just below. I probably can't get to it, though. So I, I am aware it's directly be below me. That much is obvious. It would be hilarious if you just dug for it. But it looks like... I mean, there's a cave over there. I don't know, I think it would be funny if there was just like a really easy to get to legendary treasure. There was an entrance over on this side, but I bet I can't do anything with it. Yeah, blocks in the way. There is a cave down there. Let's go check. I mean, my assumption is it's, uh... It's impassable, and I'm not going to be able to do anything with it. See, we oh, right. I 
We need the ability to attack with our shovel to be able to get that. Which I can't do from here. Like, we need some other kind of upgrade for that. Okay, well, back we go. Let's... Hmm... Yeah, we've still got that one guy stuck in the tree, but let's let's get past get past the rhino. Cause at least the rhino seems like it might be something that I can maybe figure uh maybe get something on the other side or like make it a little bit further there. Cause I was pretty stumped on the other place. Oh yeah, there's a whole village here. I bet I could go maybe shop. I don't know. Anyway. If I remember right, getting through here was easy peasy. It is a happy koala. I guess I didn't really reference it uh, for the last episode, but I, uh, I made a custom skin for... I made a custom skin for... Uh, for Peep. Uh, not really a full custom skin, but, you know, a, a custom head. Because, I don't know, it was funny. Hey there, friends. Are you here on business or pleasure? Uh, business? Ah, you must be here to see Wendy. Enjoy your stay. Hopefully this place isn't that much of a nightmare to traverse. Looks like there's some vines there, too. Well, we've got a whole bunch of things to check out, I guess. Let me guess. You want me to turn on this water pump? Fine, don't, but don't ask me for any more favors. This tribe has been living up here above the jungle since the Great Cataclysm. Our ancestors used to practice magic. That's not a, just a legend, it's true. They relied on their magic to survive. Now we've learned how to harness the power of nature to do the things we magic used to do for them. For example, we use the wind to power our wheat mill. You should check it out if you have the time. So we've got another bridge. Bridge leads over there. Can't do anything with that. Okay, I assume... Uh, there might be something in the end. Everyone that lives here in this, uh, lives here has their role to play. Me, I'm a baker. Unfortunately, until Osara finishes grinding the wheat, I don't have anything to bake with. Once I get some ground wheat, I'll be back. Ground wheat, I'll be back in business. Looks like I can just use the inn if I wanted to. Okay, can I just push this over? Yes. So you do grow these, but it looks like they hit kind of a max cap. Oh, I gotcha. We've got some more of them hanging out over here. I was like, okay, I still don't have the jump boost, which I very clearly need for stuff. Dang it. I guess I could always stand above the other sunflower and just dump. I think that works. Please tell me this works. Yeah, convenient. Uh, let's see. We've had an excellent harvest this year. We have more wheat than we know what to do with. The only problem is hauling all the seeds here to the mill. You look like you're pretty strong. You bring If you bring me some seeds, I'll give you a bottle of wheat to take with you. What do you say? Fetching. Fetch quest. Oh, let's see. Where's the mill? I guess, actually, I could probably check it on the map and see. Uh, it might be up high, now that I think about it. After escaping that laboratory, living here is like living in paradise. The human scientists did strange experiments on me. One time they attached little white balls all over my body, put me in a green room, and made me walk. 
run, jump over and over again. Oh, B told me you have a treehouse of your own now. Have you thought about trying your manual at gardening? For a reasonable fee, I could do la landscaping and get you a, your garden started. Think about it. Fresh fruits and vegetables right outside your front door. Sure. You bought a garden. It'll be delivered to your house. Whee. Well, this is working out. I thought the windmill was going to take a lot more effort. Or getting the wheat was going to take way more effort. Ah, you brought a seed. Now we just need to haul a few hundred more. What? We don't have time for this. Hmm, how about I just pay you in advance? You can finish the job later. Oh, of course, you can count on us. Well, here's a jar of our finest ground wheat, as promised. Whoops. I feel like... We should have... I, I feel a bit bad for jipping... Well, that's a terrible word. I hate the fact that there's some, like, cool slang that turns out to be super racist. I don't like it. Anyway. Hey, that looks like some of Osara's ground wheat. Oh, why don't you give that to me? You don't look like you know what to do with it anyway. I'll give you one of these slightly stale muffins in exchange. Okay, so we... Have a muffin now. Who wants a muffin? No one over here, that's for sure. Well, it's probably somebody further up. Not her. Maybe this guy. Do you want me to turn on this pump, too? Do you realize how tiring that is? If you bring me something good to eat, I'll turn it on. Deal? Okay. Well, we got it. Huh. That muffin you have looks pretty good. I'll turn on this pump for you if you give it to me. Okay, great. Alright, so we solved the side quest before we had the side quest. This is shockingly normal. I wonder if I can grow the other plants. We've seen them around, but I've never actually grown them before. No! I was holding down. And then I didn't. Now it doesn't look like I can grow those. Okay, good. These are not the variety that goes down. Ah, I've been expecting you. I've received a vision that foretold, foretold of your arrival. You're looking for Huyin's 12 legendary treasures, right? I must be honest, I thought you'd be taller. Those 12 treasures contain a great power that, if in the wrong hands, could cause horrible devastation. If you can prove your strength to me, I'll open the bridge beyond, which you'll find an important item for your quest. All you have to do is water the flower on the roof of my house. That's that owl again. Do that simple task, and then come talk to me again. Fall off the tightrope. If you do not have balance, white and black make gray. Okay. Oh, of course. But you again, I don't want to talk to you. That muffin you gave me is hard as a rock. I suppose I should work off the calories. Remember, I'm not doing this for your benefit. Okay, so the water should be on in here now. Yes? No. And I can't get any higher, either. But 
before I even attempt the rest of this, I gotta figure out how to get up there. I mean, it looks like water is flowing. I think I need a jump boost. Because we have something up here. We also have stuff down here. Cannon location and a legendary treasure there. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so we have a bunch of jerks. I'm just gonna kill them all. Unfortunately, this game kind of forces you to... Well, at least it comes back. right now. Dang it. Okay, there we go. Fixed. There we go. He's dead. I'll do anything for money. And keep spending it flagrantly on stuff. Dr. Budo, you look very familiar. Have we met before? I spent a lot of time on Angel Oak Island. Maybe I've met you there before. Hey, what's he doing here? I still haven't finished Angel Oak yet either. Okay, so let's take a look at this. We have money. These starfruit things. Some fire. And this. Okay. But nothing immediately useful, but we do know how to get up upstairs, though. Which is important. It's just going to suck. Okay, I've got the water. Oh, the monkeys are back. Oh, shoot. At least the monkeys aren't immediately dangerous to me. They're more of a nuisance than anything else. I'm just gonna probably take some damage as long as they don't knock me. As long as they don't knock me loose when I'm doing the important stuff. Hmm. Okay. I am too casual for this. I gotta I gotta sit up in my chair. As it died, it chucked a nut at me. I'm gonna lose my HP boost, but that's fine. I kind of was expecting that I would. I think I dropped a coin down below. But this way I can take my time. and not have to worry about it. Okay, cause yeah, we can absolutely get that bridge lowered. Still don't know how to lower the bridge on the other islands, but later. Okay, yeah, I totally forgot. 
enemies respawn. When you, uh, go through... Yeah, enemies respawn when you go into buildings. I don't think I can go anywhere using that, but we got it. You surprised me, you surprised me, little human. I should keep my word and lower the bridge for you. Good luck on your quest. I predict we shall see each other again. So can you uh, go lower the bridge on um, Paveglia Island too for me? Because that'd be lovely. Okay, is there anything else around here that I've missed? There probably is. I feel super guilty for not delivering all the wheat. But I assume... Nothing happens if I even try. And honestly, the idea of delivering a bunch of these. Yep, alright. So we don't actually give her anything. Okay, well that that's fine. Let's see. The bridge was just over here. Yeah? Cool. I don't know what... This gets us to a new island. Or a section of the island-ish. It gets us places. Might even be a new... Hello. You are here for one of Lepidus's once famous magic spells. Don't believe everything you hear. Some of us still possess the power of magic. It's not spectacular, but this wind spell might be useful to you. Remember, it'll dissipate if you travel too far away. But if you have a magic vessel, you can take it with you. Okay, well, they died horribly. Ow. Okay. So the wind will hurt the frogs. Good to know. Okay, I just better not fall. God, stupid monkeys. Just some food. So I don't really need to worry about it too much. I'm gonna have to worry about my HP though. Okay. I just gotta make sure I don't fall here. Actually. Fellow travelers, have you met Wendy? Her and I go way back. Did you know she was engaged to be married once? Apparently it didn't work out. I know she blames it all on her ex, but she's too stubborn to admit she's also at fault. It's too bad they can't work things out. The world would be a happier place if they did. What? Did I just get a straight up legendary treasure? I did. Cloak of Inconspicuousness. Huh. Yeah, I guess except for some food, there's really not much left. Oh. And we're back here. Okay. So I could have made it back if I run into trouble. Mostly.
That's cool, though. I was not expecting one of those. Hello. Flags are great, don't you think so? They have so many uses, but personally, I love that they make it easy to tell which direction the wind's going. How'd you like to have a flag for your little boat? It's only 200 coins. Sure. Inclu improves the glue scap's aesthetics. Shows you which way the wind is blowing. I don't think I could have saved it, now that I'm thinking about it. I was like, I wonder if I could have saved my that wind spell I was carrying. Maybe I could have. I'm not entirely sure. Well, one way or another, I think we... I mean, we've got what we came for and then some. So, I'm just gonna head back to Angel Oak Island, because very clearly I should have been there first. Well, we got this area done, which is kind of nice. I don't even know if I knew that legendary treasure was there. In fact, I think there's another legendary treasure on this island that I never got. Am I not wrong? Yep, there's still a legendary, tre legendary treasure here. I don't know. I don't know. This will take a while, probably. This game is long. But yeah, I couldn't get to it for whatever reason. Okay, oh, that's a sneaky portal location. That's for certain. Okay. Well, let's, uh, I'm just gonna go back to the museum. We've got another legendary treasure to put in, even if I'm not entirely a uh, fan of that, like, dungeon area. Maybe it'll get me an upgrade or something. I don't know. Who knows? 